Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Trader. In the previous episode we solved uh, Pascal's personal quest and we decided to let the Amarnon part live and have that the power to discontinue the cycle. Basically they can kill machine spirits and it, we will find out uh, in time I think if it was the better or worse. Anyway now we have uh, caught up with the Inquisitor and this is the point of no return so we will start the end game here and the experience of this game I think I can say we will have at least 5-10 more episodes because this end game won't be short I'm sure of that so let's uh, catch up with the Inquisitor For Captain or Augurs are detecting energy currents of uh, indeterminate nature with uh, the dimensional gate. It appears to be active. We see a number of ships near the gate and judging by their markings they belong to Lord Inquisitor Calcazar's personal squadron. Lord Captain, don't, don't take it uh, as cowardice, but you obliges me to ask. You do realize that this may end up being a one-way voyage, don't you? Okay, let's do this. Uh, we are uh, iconoclast, so we concerned about others. Crew, this is the Lord Captain speaking. I am taking the ship into the unknown, where danger lies and glory awaits. Are you with me? For a while, you hear no response. Then silence is broken by the sounds of heavy footfalls. The rhythmic stomping grows louder and louder. Thousands of feet strike the decks as if marching into oblivion under your banner. Onward, no matter uh, what this journey holds for us, I am ready. Yes, Lord Captain. Whatever is waiting out there, beware. Von Valencius is coming. What are the ships at the gate? I wish to go through. Incoming message. You are entering an area declared forbidden. Any attempt to approach the Xeno artifact will be considered an act of rebellion against the Emperor. Leave now or be destroyed. Or Captain, would you prefer to send your reply with the help of a Vox uh, clerics or the main gun deck? Well, there is only only one way to do it. Do this. Main gun deck uh, commands the uh, Vesritar of loading all decks. Uh, Begin combat preparation, we are giving battle. This is the only, only way, so... I'm a bit sad that we cannot talk with them. You heard the Lord Captain, battle station. Wait, who in the void is that? Uh, some of the enemy ships are breaking formation in haste. They are regrouping and folding back to repel an attack from the rear. Looks like some has arrived to lend us a hand. The enemy is uh, scattered. Nice time to engage. Who is attacking the Lord Inquisition forces? Who else would be that foolish than us? We detect uh, Eldar Void ships among the arrived uh, allied vessels. Then we too shall strike. Yeah. I think... Uh, Galkazar is up against Necrons and because the Eldar kicked the Necrons ass once and they are very very keen on not letting uh, the Necrons rise again and I think the activation of that gate uh, pulled them in The skeins of fate can lead us to victory Okay, these are not real threats to us. Helmsman, take us in. Torpedoes, away! With the force of a supernova. 
Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Lance battery. Volley! Engage the engines. Salvo! Hmm, what's that? In the end of the combat, the crash is speed is increased by 20%. This is damage there by the way. Oh, let's do this. None will lament their demise. Okay. We can detonate there, but <laughs> that won't be good for us. Okay. Let's see. Make every shot count! Do this. Helmsman, take us in. With the force of a supernova. They are exposed. Unleash your weaponry. I will do. Lance battery. Folly. They are out of range at least. We do a shallow jump. Oh, torpedo control. And we can move. Oh, yeah. All hands, prepare for acceleration. Stand the range. Salvo! And so it will be with anyone who stands in our way. Wow. Okay, these guys have very good armors, very good weapons, and they are no better they do. I don't think we can hit them with the torpedoes. Engage the engines. But fortunately we have other tools. Let the void sort them out. Fire at will. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Lance battery! Volley! Now let's do a shallow jump. And now it is in range. Heading. 
cannot move. Okay. Well, Horaskos will die again. I believe. Great. Time to reap the spoils of the battle. Poor captain, they have fired boarding torpedoes. It looks like the enemy has decided to take us down with a single uh, decisive strike. Let us fend off in honest combat. Brace for impact. Yes, Lord Captain, some of the arm on all decks. All crew members get ready to repel the borders. Okay, let's see what uh, we are dealing with here. I bet more Inquisitorial troops. The heavy armored woman eyeballs you and sneers. A rogue trader. That's a new notch on my gun stock. Never killed one of uh, you before. If you lay down your arms right now, you will be spared and taken captive. The mirror allows uh, a calling lock. I can't uh, promise the same to you, rogue trader. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Give me strength. Master Helmsman Raver is fighting with us. Okay, you will go up, Abelard. We out. We are moving back because we can do greater damage from range. Uh, enjoy can affect us. What's that? Uncomfortable presence. Let's go. Oh, that's nice. If it serves your cause. Let's take her down. Let's put it back. If I must. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I think, yeah, she's too far away from that. Doesn't matter. Okay, now we just do a dead eye shot. No weakness is hidden from my sight. And let's concentrate on him. Hmm. We have to act with grenades. At your back and call. Indeed. This do a strike like that. Victory is imminent. Oh. What? Avalard. Okay, we can diminish the fire with that. And uh, you have a defensive stat. Onward! Stay vigilant. Break their morale. Nice!
Okay, let's run and gun. Let's move out. Rejoice in battle! Why not? Faith without deeds. I haven't is used worthless. devastating strike for for a while. As the Emperor can And I'm regretting that. This way. All dogs advise. What? I can't stand it. This is for me. Emperor, protect me. No. War blade. I cannot see her, but I want to see her. Okay, let, uh... Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. Let's finish her. Okay, let's make her break. On it. I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. On it. Another enemy down. Okay, we warned her to lay down her weapons. But she ignored us. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. What? I'll do it. What? Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> okay, and Jay have done. So how about uh what? How about no? How about yes? This battlefield air is good for my lungs. Don't get too cocky. They'll write legends about me. Explore just no one route forward. Can you shoot him? No, for some reason, I cannot hit him. Negation. Action. Augmentation long. This creature has to lose. Chance. But I don't know what. Okay, let's, let's try this way my vow is to serve okay that seems to work running by Derek override wow Tell me, and it is done. Never cross a Kazbalikin. You've got a problem? I've got a prize. Okay. That was a good turn. That was a really, really good turn. Reload. Approved. Quick, quick! 
That's gonna hurt. Don't get too cocky. Yeah, let's I can do that him. with the right incentive. Oh, your back and oh, you okay, I don't want to hurt the old man. I will do my duty. Target well struck. Oh, we can finish them off. We can finish them off this way. Your hand. Indeed, an exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. Let's move there. One At your back strike. and call. Forward. Watch my back. Don't well, get too try. cocky. Let's try. Why not? You jest, surely. No, I'm not. Weather the storm. Follow my lead. <clears throat> Follow my lead. The swift. Nice. If it serves your cause. No more. What? I see Let's make a, a deal. bolt pistol. Or spot from bolt pistol, yeah. You should have that. All right. What now? The voice should read. Okay. So it seems we repelled the invaders and defeated the fleet. And we might be able to get through the gate. But before that, I think we have to upgrade the ship. Because it leveled up. And I expect that on the other side of the gate, we will run into some nest surprises. Or even into Kalkazar's flagship. ship. And... It wasn't a hard fight with uh, the escort ships of the Inquisitor or fleet, but they were pecking. Who's that? The enemy has been routed your lordship. We are receiving box signal requesting uh, that we admit a convoy of shuttles on board for an audience. The Ogres have confirmed that the shuttles are unarmed and belong to the forces that aided us in the battle. Do you wish to welcome the guests? Who is that uh, wants to come aboard? Rogue trader uh, Winterscale is on his way aboard the shuttle. Rogue trader Winterscale? Is, is it his son? 
All of the vessels could be not identified. The augur operation operated wheel is equipped with talking fuel generators of Zeno's origin. Welcome our guests and uh, usher them to the bridge. Surely it's the young winter scale. Sporting a hosted autogun you haven't seen before, Jerry's Dunlop clears his stop before he begins. Reporting Lord Captain, the attack on the ship has been repaired. All decks have been cleared of trespassers. Two bridges have been have been or being mended. You have eminent visitors who wish to congratulate you on your victory. Oh, it is him. I didn't expect it him. I expected some uh, uh, Eldar. The Harlequin paying no attention to the uh, anxious glances of the crew takes a bow. Beholding silence, Merchant Vagabond, the crossroads laid before you at this time. The lock of jest unending has declared your dance uh, adroit and worthy of applause. And I, his words, mute Ekpona, arise to send you on your merry way at last. John is sized. The Zeno simply materialized uh, on the bridge, whereupon the enforcer simply refused to approach it. After all, the enemy of humanity has not acted aggressively in any way, as of yet. Doctrine of Oblivion, your visit is certainly unexpected. The briefest moment I will hear uh, abide. The lull between two heartbeats, nothing more. Your deeds have left their mark in memories halls, where few among your kin have earned a place. The merchant vagabond grand tales I keep, and the steadfast guard of uh, every page. Oblivion Stockton will be heard no more, for this. Uh, for with these words I play my final chord. Forever is not an ending, but a thread that leads you into a new drama's web. Damn, the first time I understand what he's saying. The Harlequin uh, starts taking off his max like he's about to reveal what, uh, what's beneath it. But before you can make out of his feature, he locks and vanishes in a blue haze, where the mystery Zeno just stood his uh, parting gift remains. Open the start of each turn, we are against each ally. Okay. Factotum report on the state of the ship and the crew. The Factotum cox, minor damage to the outer uh, plate within the uh, midship pool, and negligible personal losses as a result of offensive action by enemy boarding parties. The key system are in order. The Enigmarium reports the impeccable compliance on the part of the machine spirit. In other words, we are fully combat ready, Lord Captain. I need to set off. Wasting no time on meaningless good luck wishes your uh, distinguished guests leave the bridge in solemn and respectful silence. Nobody came. Nobody is here. Hmm. I think that was an another bug. But Rogue Trader Winter Scale. It would be cool if it was his son. The Voidmore raises his ever gloomy eyes to you. The enemy is defeated, Lord Captain. We are ready to begin the, the Spatial Translation. Let's survey the breach. Dozens of pairs of five hang on your eyes, just, uh, every gesture, your every side. Every crew member uh, waits with uh, bated breath, uh, lest they miss the crux of your uh, address. Okay, I guess we will want uh, level up the ship. Start the translation procedure. The ancient gate, long impenetrable for the rogue trader, was at last ready to reveal its secrets. After gathering allies and preparing to venture into the unknown, the Lord Captain plunged headlong into the darkness that held ancient nightmares answers to all his questions. Necro.
I liked, I liked all the hints that the game gave us. And of course, the Necron, uh, what do you call it? Uh, void cargo something. That was a dead giveaway, of course. But we can have just run into them uh, by accident on some of the unexplored worlds. So that was also a possibility, like with the Gene Stealer cults. Because they could build a whole campaign on Gene Stealers and uh, Tyranids. Translation complete, Lord Captain. Current coordinates unknown and indeterminable. All, the, all that's in the ship's uh, immediate vicinity is the dimensional gate, gate that has gone into passive mode uh, and a large amount of debris. No enemies detected. What happened to the dimensional, dimensional gate? The engineers have proposed a hypothesis that it has entered some kind of recharge mode. After accumulating enough energy for a new translation, it will active again. Or at least that's what all, all of us wants to believe badly. What kind of debris? Those are ship carcasses. Judging by their markings, they were part of the lower thing with this suite and likely acted as a patrol force. The damage doesn't look like it came from any weapon we know, and the way the debris are scattered suggests that the battle was short. Someone attacked and destroyed every one of them in the blink of an eye. Someone we have never encountered before. What is this place? I can't say, Your Lord Captain. These are unfamiliar stars, and the system is not listed in our astrogational data. We are in uncharted territory. We are going after the Lord Inquisitor. As you command, Your Lordship, if I may just point out the uh, expedition equipment prepared in advance for Your Lordship. And your retinue has been maintained well and is ready for use uh, at your order. You have jumped into an uncharted sector of the edge of the expanse. The dimensional gate is closed and you are currently cut off from the rest of the Coronas expanse. You cannot return uh, to your previous system or charge routes to them. Protectorate management is also unavailable and you have no way to contact factions, uh, faction trade representatives. Okay. However, that means we will leave this part and we will still have some story left, I predict. There is no way back and it's pointless to look anywhere but ahead. Establish uh, uh, routes to the new system in the uncharted sector on the map and go forth to meet the inevitable. Uh, let's do a whole repair uh, just just quickly level the ship up this is what vulnerability scan and and use a steady hand Having scanned the surface, officers recall the remains of an exploration camp to which a team of scouts is immediately sent. The scouting party is confused. All the equipment bears uh, the home volunteers' coat of arms, but there is no trace of anyone other than the rogue trader's uh, warrants. Let's find out what happened. The scouts find traces of gunfire on the field uh, equipment. A single unharmed data clip is found in one of the cogitators. A group of tech priests successfully decrypt the part of data input in order to animate the exploration team signed by Theodora von Balancis. The far from, not far from the camp is a pit full of charred bones and fragments of armor being the rogue trader's coat of arms. The scout's report uh, leaves Abelard with conflicting feelings. Despite his certainty that her ladyship Theodora would not give such an order without very good reason, Abelard's expression is somewhere like a missionary who lost his faith. Yeah, because we know uh, Theodora. Well, Theodora break uh, an Eldar prophet. 
and she had some Necron trophies in Mundus Valencius in the palace. So she encountered Necrons before. Whoa. Not from the planet. Rocky World is bound in ice and shrouded in a thick fog of dark clouds. Ogre's trace a faint signal of the area under the ice alongside the distress fall whose encryption matches that are used by the Lord Inquisitor and his teams. They equipped the transmission coming from the planet. Oh, we have a pretty good chance. Lex interrogators quickly and effortless to break the clever code. The transmission goes as follows. Acolyte 17-1 Lord Inquisitor. The event horrific vision occurred. Goodbye. The Emperor protect. Let's find the signal source. And Joy is staying with us still. Okay. Oh wow. We are on a Necron world. That's crazy. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. I'm just recently painting up some Necrons, so these shapes are pretty familiar to me. The walls appear as if they were cast from a single piece of metal and seem impressively durable. It is impossible to gauge how many centuries have passed since they were built. Oh, and we have all. Oh. What advice do you seek? Barely visible, heavy humming penetrates the walls of the cliff, uh, which are adorned with strange geometric shapes. The blackened tracks of blood extends further, leading to, into the depth of the corridor. Is there money to be made? Oh, I don't like that uh, shimmering. Not at all. have a backup plan. Brought a metallic uh, tent for us from the pool of dried blood. An uneven ripple uh, runs across the steel, the steel surface. The symbols covering uh, it tremble and blend into each other. Once uh, stay in your memory for longer than a second. Okay, this place is starting to give me the creeps. Especially because I know uh, what we can expect here. Rotting corpse is slumped over the cogitator. What force could have uh, thrown it? Well, I have several ideas, but cogitator here. Military equipment and mechanisms for sacred machines, everything is untouched. Okay. Oh, they, they interfaced with an Necron creep. That's crazy. Around before Keep your we start wits about you. Pressing buttons. The 
The bloody swigs seem even more green in the green subterranean glow. Something will come out from there. I always keep my options and open. from there. Okay, let's let's try this. Just as I planned. The surface with the sim was tremulous in the rippling water, but has no effect on you. The wheat screen awakens at your uh, touch. Start with beginning data transmission to the second uh, calculator. Missing data. It's uh, uniqueness we have embarked on a new trajectory amidst the stars and symbols before existence. Oh, this is some kind of translating thing. Could you tell us in start here recently before it was listed by an unknown weapon? Oh, they are on, uh, on small parts. Success is the only the outcome amidst, I uh, accept. Lore, but, from amidst a low roar, but you are able to withstand it. The bit screen awakens at your touch. That is beginning data transmission to the second part where you have to to become immortal. We have become burns to darkness, it shall be conquered and it shall tremble in fear. Okay, this is basically the Always keep your eye on the prize. In Necron's history. Okay. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Ooh, that's that's not good. That's some kind of energy transfer thingy. The monster structure looms majestic over you. The energy split into the obstruct, uh, obstructs your mind. For a moment, it seems that no, not only are you studying the obelisk, but it's also studying you. <laughs> I'm sure it's also studying. Let's check. That. I always get the job Inside done. Sim Zeno symbols is repulsive, but your will is strong and press of a key. The wheat screen displays the following start with beginning data transmission to the sacred calculator. Shunning the imperfection of the flesh is transient and is uh, finiteless. The new preserving bond with the old to the written images. Okay, and Keep let's your wits about you. This one. Activate the cogitator. Oh, okay. Several disfigured corpses in the uniforms of Inquisition soldiers have been tossed in a grotesque spy between the cogitator and the large obelisk strike state. Their killers left no trace, but you have the nagging oppressive feeling that the very walls are watching you. The air thick with electricity and the heavy stench of walking flesh only makes the feeling worse. Matches is blinking impatiently on the cogitator discipline. screen. Process linguistic analysis. Status awaiting data calculating. Active information panels. Let's examine it. We have never seen a robotic machine as intricate and unorthodox as this one. The numerous uh, circuit series of algorithmic uh, ascetism suggests that the speed dwelling within is exceptionally cunning and powerful. Try with the forbidden knowledge. Pascal bows reverently to the sucking machine and whispers. This machine spirit is wayward and apprehensive, for it, it is tormented. Its intricate mind carries many scars from pacifying binary returnees. The text carefully removes the severed human finger from the input panel, whispers an apologetic prayer to the cogitator, and casually tosses the piece of flesh away. Confirm activation of the information panels. The impulse of motive force runs through the thick fibers around the cogitator. Data accepted. Realistic analysis is complete. Initiate final uh, cataloging. Initiate final cataloging. The bit screen fills with the same symbols you say on the surrounding buildings. You feel an inexplicable rush of disgust at the sight of uh, them in place of familiar words 
and numbers, almost identical geometric shapes combined into long chains and flash by too fast for you to take them in. A text in low gothic appears under the glyph, shunning the imperfection of the flash in uh, transience and its finiteness. We have embarked on a new trajectory amidst the stars and have become immortal. We have become the new preserving, new preserving a bond with the old through rhythm, images, and symbols. Before existence turns to darkness, it shall be conquered and it shall tremble in fear. Report: Cataloging complete subscript. Active vocabulary of Zeno's race compiled. Auto transfer to the translation device is required to save the catalog. Declining will result in catalog deletion. Continue. Continue. Now I see why they need such an ancient and powerful machine speed. To decipher Zeno language is practically critical to comprehend it. This archaeotech is on the verge of turning into an uh, abominable, uh, abominable intelligence. Repetition blends with horror in the text resource. It cannot be left here. I am sending an order to the ship uh, to deploy a team of technomaths to dismantle and extract the sacred machine. Let's transfer the data to your uh, uh, locator because then we might be able to speak with the Necrons. Of course, that uh, we cannot bargain with them, but I still want to know what are they up to, and maybe they will be overconfident and say something that we can use. Now connected to the cogitator, your eludicator uh, arms intensely as it learns the meaning of the. A uh, hit hero arm from your lips is responds with rattles and metallic groans. The, co the cogitator's whisk screen lights up. Operation complete. That's right, where is the data concerning the mechanism's masters? The mechanism having served the Inquisition so faithfully is loath to part with its secrets. One after another, menacing Scarlet does light up in its gazing. Oscar bows his head and mutters a prayer, then makes a quick motion. Uh, with his fingers, several lights in the cogitator go out as it uh, defends crack. Forgive me, ancient spirit, we must be pacified. Let's continue the attempt. The ruthless intrusion into the cogitation memory chamber sealed the following message. Prepare for the start of Operation uh, Vicious Sentinel. The horrific vision event may come uh, to pass. Orders to uh, abort the research mission and, and join the continent on uh, epitaph. Codes for traversing the uh, minefields are attached. The message has an attachment uh, containing the astronomical coordinates of a planet along with some binary code. Okay, now we know, uh, we have a clue where, my, where we might fight the Inquisitor. Priority zero, contact with uh, barrier squadron lost during the dimensional gate uh, recharging. No confirmed receive of gate being sealed. Stay on high alert. The cogitator shrieks indigently, lighting up with blinding red indicators and letting out a high frequency howl. A word appears across the entire width of the screen. Intrusion. When the ringing in your ears subsides, you realize you hear something else. Someone's heavy footsteps. The vindictive machine speed triumphantly displays a, a blinking prophetic message. Is to be destroyed, the night comes to boundless. Stars know is bestowed upon them, the words know that is bestowed upon them, turn ash or honey. Okay, now we are in deep, guys. Your kind has no right to exist. On sight. Immunity of Deathless. The creature has to the, the cannot attack the big destruction purpose of the world. 
mental damage that was beautiful. That was reanimation protocols. That's that's uh, what I'm pierced about. When this wounds drop to zero, it falls prone and gains 30% of its maximum wounds as temporary. This next turn, the creature reanimated with 50% of its wounds if it still has temporary wounds. If your creature has no other allies, it face uh, wounds more than zero this creature and its allies die. Once per battle. The living method of each restores 10% of its maximum wounds at the start of each turn. And difficulty higher deflection. Okay, so that's not good. A death mark and the uh, deafness. Each attack made by the creature decreases the target's armor by 5 and deflection by 2 until the end of the combat. Each 2 points of damage dealt increases the creature's overall damage by 1. When the closest uh, immortal creature wounds drop below 50%, the closest crowd will try to move and reconstruct it. It has 2 rounds of cooldown. Okay, that's a big boy. Attacks, enemies at two, so reduce gain, uh, hit chance. All effect enemies also become hard targets for the of neck might reduce the damage against this creature for every side back to back. Okay, so we have to get into the back of him. Oh, look, there's another one. Okay, we definitely need to kill the Scarabs first. So. Let's go, let's go there, so we can put Jaya there. Well, Abelard might charge them about that. And they cannot reanimate, re yes. Big meta. No, they cannot. Okay, I think someone else can take care of the rest. In the meantime. Also killing all the scarabs to the mean uh, can we shoot at the dead mark? We could, but these guys would just repair him. So let's target I some of the scarabs. Okay. Arjun, to move God there. Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Faith without deeds is worthless. This is why I was chosen. Well, I'll I'm do done. it. 
This is unacceptable. That is for the weak. <laughs> and you I'll do it. Tired. Faith without deeds is worthless. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Just a minor setback. We have another death mark. Yeah, Ballard. We start working on that next one. It will be done. Oh, an exemplary strike. Hmm. It means that we can shoot. He's down. No, we cannot. I was thinking he's shooting down those traps. At your back and call. Uh. But someone has to now. Okay, at least they are very slow. There, so we probably can keep that way. Let's go there. Can use clean the we have no line of sight on them damn it I'll see to it personally okay it has not temporary wounds your end is inevitable Okay. We have full momentum. Uh, shall we use it on? No. I think we have to. I don't know. No, let's let's use the, this early because when the destroyers come into range, we don't have any any other enemies, so we have to only deal with them. Wanna see a trick? I'll do it. Let's do a run and gun. Well, that will be the only target. And still that will be the only target. There's no way we can shoot at those crabs. That's unfortunate. No scrubs there. Those are way too way too out of there. Maybe maybe we can go there. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. And dash. Okay, now we have line of sight. Doubt is for the weak. 
I'll do it. Reload. Do the start. Okay. That's still one HP. There, then let's I know go what I'm doing. Car. Usually. Uh, if, 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 Am I getting paid for this? Tell me, and it is done. You've got a problem. I've got a prize. And now that's normal third for her. Okay. How about moving A moving there? target lives longer. And let's use... Let's do temporary wounds. No, we, we have this. I can do that. With the right incentive. Dodged it. Damn it. Okay, Please. dodge this. Never in a thousand sectors. What? Why can't you throw that grenade? You have the action points for that? No. How about yes? Okay. Okay. Who shall we shoot that? Uh, I should kill those scraps. It's as good as done. Let's go a bit. There. Okay. Who, if not me? Let's start. Putting things on him. What's the range on that weapon? Four shot. Which one is the range? Range. Okay, so. I can't see any range. Is it a flamer? Twenty south pole. Okay. We cannot shoot at him, but we can take the down those crabs. And Abelard can move this way so he can get into the back of him. Another enemy down. Okay. I'll see to it, but you never stood a chance. Oh, oh, I I moved there. Uh, I didn't meant to do that. Okay, that's bad. Uh, 
Oh, they can shoot from that distance. As the tactical imperative dictates. Okay, now we only have warriors here. After this battle we will equip remains. Okay, can she see him? No. But she can see those necrons. Let's put an opening there. Your Xenos pet monkey. Still not enough. Kill it. But we can finish off this one. If I must. I understand your intent. He can just shoot. Okay. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> Power is this? resides in the will of the righteous. I'll do it. Because we have a good opportunity. Faith Run without down. deeds is worthless. Guided by faith. Okay, and now just Doubt is keep for the shooting weak. at them. I'll do it. Yes, we can shoot As the one Emperor more time. commands, I act. Oh, we can shoot five more times. Faith without deeds is worth eradicated. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Reload. And that's it. Let's switch to range weapon. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Because at least we can have a shot at him. Indeed. At your beck and call.
Okay, I expected something much, much worse. Okay, Jaya, run there. Um, and we could finish him off. How about a place shot? Am I getting paid for this? Going if you hit. somewhere? Okay. And move, move, move to Argenta. Don't get too cocky. She can move Rejoice up there. in battle! Uh, she can dash. Let's, let's dash forward. Because in the next turn, we might be able to get the backside of him. Cannot move anymore. Tell me, and it is done. Well, well. Don't get too cocky. And we can. I can do that with the right incentive. Okay. Pascal, can you see someone? Only that one? Cannot. It's like, why the hell not? But here, uh, we gain the wounds. Okay, now we are getting the hell out of there. And I want to uh, get into a position, yes, where we can shoot. Let's make some opportunities. Where we can shoot at him. I'll make it happen. Let's make him pay. See to it personally. <laughs> the best defense is a good offense. Okay, Basta. Run up there. And he can. Him. Oh, but it's not the back side, it's on the, the side. another trap there the scriptural prognosis is favorable hmm, I wonder request what is this too far okay I don't want to shoot at him so let's do this. And basically that's it. Maybe. Maybe. Just for fun. Here we are. Hmm. Run. I approach the designated position. And since you can, this tedium is beneath. If it serves your cause, the, the, the I am not don't... your Xenos pet, Monkey. I understand your intent. And now the flash. If our ancestors guide me. 
And if this it is why not. Your cause. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Okay, now that's the back side. Doubt is for the weak. This is why I was chosen. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> okay. I'll Let's do, do the devastating attack. Maybe it will have some effect on him. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. Thou is for the weak. Okay, now the problem will arise when he's turning around. Victory is imminent. I charge him. Okay, and I save the record. It will be for done. This. At your back and call. Target well struck. Oh, that's not enough. Okay, he is not... What? He shoot at the other one. Okay, he just destroyed... He just destroyed the last oh, death mark. Okay. Let's run up there. Joy and Am I getting paid for this? I can do that with the right incentive. Okay, let's... The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! We have to move around and in there. Great. As the Emperor commands, I act. Okay, Jack, can you order her? You've got a problem, I've got a prize. Yes. I'll do it. She indeed could order her. And she's in the backside. Faith without deeds is worse. <laughs> Okay. The part piercing and rending damage is bleeding and slow on the target of the end. damage is blinded on the target of the end. It hits because the target make a toughness resistance test. It's a negative effect based on the damage. Okay. There is no real reason to use that. And trench. Oh, rebel in slaughter. That's what we need. And we can shoot one more time. And As the emperor commands, the right I hand. act.
cannot move anymore, so that's for her. I am ready for whatever comes. So hopefully, we can shut him. Yes, we can shut him in the back. I'll make it happen. Who, if not me? I'll make it happen. It's as good as done. I'll make it happen. You should have thought twice before crossing me. Okay, let's do this. Beyond desire knows all, comprehends all. Okay. That's a good one. his back side. Nope. Unfortunately not. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Still, let's shoot at them. No weakness is hidden from my sight. Or rather, let's reload the weapon. This tedium is beneath me. Fortune favors the swift. Okay. Doubt is for the weak. Forgive my emperor. I'll do Hello. it. As the Other emperor down. commands, I act. But this guy may be re reanimating after this. This is why I was chosen. Much damage be okay. Let's save ammunition. You, my emperor. Faith without deeds is worthless. <laughs> okay, we need. All right. As the emperor commands, I act. Okay, Abelard, your mission is to distract him. It will be done. Victory is imminent. Gray hair, sure hair. This battlefield air is good for my lungs. Okay. Let's I can do that stuff. with the right incentive. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Okay, and can we make her act? Don't get too cocky. Yes. I'll do it. Reload. And you're still having the back side. Great. Okay, we survived. And we have some coordinates. I want to know why 
is that the most interesting news we just did with dinner is just pushing to the air just to your mind. For a moment it seems that only okay, but I cannot go there anymore. It is a bummer. But we have the coordinates, so let's get the hell out. Wow, that's real accurate. I always have a backup plan. Okay, that was our first contact with the Necrons. At least our defenses are good against them. It's always good to know. Now we know how the elimination protocols works. We'll see. Ah yes, and this, this there's no point having the vendors because because we couldn't rescue or salvage any equipment for the most part but I still want to check the hike okay I shall the paper Let's go for another system. Well, we know the exact coordinates. Let's check. Lord Captain, unidentified sickle shaped ships have taken off uh, from the planet we just left. They are approaching safely and readying their weapons for battle. Get ready, it's about to get hot in there. Okay. Well, that's unexpected. But this will be the first space battle against Necrons. Let's see what they can do. I'm, I'm maybe a bit, a bit uh, more concerned about this, but we'll see. The whispers sound distant. The future is uncertain. What kind of defenses they have living metal? At the start of its turn, the ship repairs 20% missing pool. Once per combat, when the ship is about to be destroyed, it is instead remained with full heart. However, this animation is not permanent, and the ship continues to be sent to create suffering damage equal to the person missing pool. The start of its turn. Okay, so we have to kill these guys multiple times. Helmsman, take us in. Torpedoes away! Oh, and we now cannot use that, damn it. With the force of a supernova! Let's make some way. Launch battery fully. With the force of a supernova. Okay, now that is decaying.
Oh! Surprise! Engage the engines! We're just a bit away. Now we can fix it. Yeah, let's concentrate our fire on that one. That is disintegrating in two turns. I think I concentrate on that in the next turn. Let's use new heading. Well, this battery has no other uh, targets. Make so... every shot count. Large battery, fully. With the force of a supernova. Okay. Up the pressure. And that is isn't great. That's good. But they have very thick armor. Okay, that ship is not a threat anymore. This is the last one. It's very dangerous. Let's detonate them. Let's clear the path. Lance battery, fully! Lost the ground. Coordinate set. <laughs> With the force of a supernova! It's just about time to kill them. Yeah, but it's dead immediately, and it has only four or three turns left. But he offered us, he offered himself uh, on a silver plate. Lance battery! The force of a supernova! I am amazed that we prevailed. Oh, I'm gonna be my put to watch the rain. And I bet those living metal specimens can be turned into Nephron cargo. Lord Captain, what they were, what were those things? They took off from the surface of the world uh, where, uh, where you landed. I have never seen ships like that, never seen such uh, technologies either. 
We finished, uh, a trophy, we finished a trophy out of the void, a relatively intact fragment of a wreck, and sent it to the engineers. And just in case, we, uh, we have isolated uh, the compartment uh, where they're performing their comprehensive liturgies. We search the tombs in the Rogue Trader's private library. Perhaps it will give us uh, insight on these monsters. A horse long silence follows as your order is being executed, and at last the box comes to life again. Your lordship, the uh, Carto artifacts claims to have found a mention of Xenos similar to the ones we have encountered. The manuscript refers them as Necrons. Do we really know nothing about the tsunami? Nothing but uh, tales and rumors. I've heard stories about uh, sickle ships that reap entire squadrons like ears of a grain. About crews that know no fear about the wheel of death that shrouds them and corrodes their enemy ships like rust. Those stories aren't uh, worth a glock's arse, too, because they also say that none has ever survived encountering those sickle ships. If that were, were true, uh, there wouldn't be anyone around to tell those stories, wouldn't there? Hello, Captain Jack Sparrow. Dota available. Those creatures are uh, Nep uh, Nephilimax, the Omnissiah's fallen angels. Citing a quotation, the first machine spirits ever created by the Omnissiah were in will, in body and in power. Unmatched in their perfection and they were realizing the design of the Deus Mechanicus into being. But the principle of entropy uh, conceived by the Omnissiah was fundamental, thus even the perfect became flawed through the uh, overburdens of their perfection. So was the Nephilimax abilities and so immeasurable the uh, depth of their minds that uh, pride tempted them. The Nephilimax rejected the design of the Deus Mechanicus in favor of their own. The order of existence was defied and the great war of absolute destruction came. The Nephilimax were overthrown and exterminated, with only a few managing to hide from the Omnissiah's eye by es uh, extinguishing their minds and shrouding themselves in oblivion. In their change, the Omnissiah created new machine spirits and uh, destined them into servitude so that they would remember the limits of their power and would not uh, descend into pride. As for the ultimate perfection, the Deus Mechanicus uh, uh, abolished it from the universe, and thus it was no more. What is the uh, trophy we acquired? The engineers uh, are at a loss. They say it's a, a gift born from the Omnissiah's wisdom, but its image, image was imperfect and thereof, therefore it was eroded by corruption and unbelief, whatever that means. The ship's minor conclave has uh, gone into data meditation to produce a result regarding the uh, admissibility of using this item. Monster Cruise Morale give additional rations to those who shove Volor in battle. This is just the beginning. As you will, Lord Captain. Okay. Now let's see the map. And I'm so glad we have uh, navigator points. And in the journal, So we went to the surface of Earth Epipod, the road trader has no choice but to go after him. Let's travel to there. Okay. Let's do the chart new routes. Let's visit this. Let's explore all of the uh, worlds. Macron ring. Okay, but before we deep dive into the exploration, I think that's uh, a good ending for this episode. I hope you liked it and I see you in the next one. Bye.